Relay A relay is an electrically operated switch. It consists of a set of input terminals for a single or multiple control signals, and a set of operating contact terminals. The switch may have any number of contacts in multiple contact forms, such as make contacts, break contacts. Relays are used where it is necessary to control a circuit by an independent low power signal, or where several circuits must be controlled by one signal. Relays were used extensively in telephone exchanges and early computers to perform logical operations. Electrical relay relays are switches that open and close circuits electromechanically or electronically. Relays control one electrical circuit by opening and closing contacts in another circuit. When a relay contact is normally closed, and C, there is a closed contact when the relay is not energized. Relay work A relay is an electromagnetic switch operated by a relatively small electric current that can turn on or off a much larger electric current. The heart of a relay is an electromagnet, a coil of wire that becomes a temporary magnet when electricity flows through it. Relays are the primary protection as well as switching devices in most of the control processes or equipments. All the relays respond to one or more electrical quantities like voltage or current such that they open or close the contacts or circuits. A relay is a switching device as it works to isolate or change the state of an electric circuit from one state to another. Types of relay electromagnetic relay solid state relays hybrid relay thermal relay a read relay These electromagnetic relays are those relay which operates on the principle of electromagnetic attraction It is a type of a magnetic switch which uses the magnet for creating a magnetic field The magnetic field then uses for opening and closing the switch and for performing the mechanical operation These relays are constructed with electrical mechanical and magnetic components and have operating coil and mechanical contacts. Electromagnetic relays Therefore, when the coil gets activated by a supply system, these mechanical contacts gets opened or closed. The type of supply can be AC or DC. The typical applications of electromechanical relays include motor control, automotive applications such as an electrical fuel pump, industrial applications where control of high voltages and currents is intended, controlling large power loads, solid state relay solid state uses solid state components to perform the switching operation without moving any parts. Since the control energy required is much lower compared with the output power to be controlled by this relay that results the power gain higher when compared to the electromagnetic relays. These are of different types, read relay coupled SSR, transformer coupled SSR, photo coupled SSR, and so on. Solid state relays The relay may be designed to switch either AC or DC to the load. It serves the same function as an electromechanical relay, but has no moving parts. Packaged solid-state relays use power semiconductor devices such as thyristors and transistors, to switch currents up to around 100 amperes. Hybrid relay Hybrid relays combine both a static relay and a mechanical relay in parallel, marrying the low voltage drop of a relay to the high reliability of silicon devices. These relays are composed of electromagnetic relays and electronic components. Usually, the input part contains the electronic circuitry that performs rectification and the other control functions, and the output part include electromagnetic relay. Depending on the operating principle and structural features relays are of different types such as electromagnetic relays, thermal relays, power varied relays, multidimensional relays, and so on, with varied ratings, sizes, and applications. Hybrid relay Thermal relay A thermal relay is a protector that uses the thermal effect of current to cut off the circuit. These relays are based on the effects of heat, which means the rise in the ambient temperature from the limit, directs the contacts to switch from one position to other. 
These are mainly used in motor protection and consist of bimetallic elements like temperature sensors as well as control elements. Thermal overload relays are the best examples of these relays. Thermal relay Reed relay A reed relay is a type of relay that uses an electromagnet to control one or more reed switches. The contacts are of magnetic material and the electromagnet acts directly on them without requiring an armature to move them. Reed relays consist of a pair of magnetic strips, also called as reed, that is sealed within a glass tube. This reed acts as both an armature and a contact blade. The magnetic field applied to the coil is wrapped around this tube that makes these reeds move so that switching operation is performed. Reed relay Based on dimensions, relays are differentiated as micro-miniature, sub-miniature and miniature relays. Also, based on the construction, these relays are classified as hermetic, sealed and open type relays. Furthermore, depending on the load operating range, relays are of micro, low, intermediate and high power types. The ways in which these relays are operated is shown in the below figure. Switching contacts can be SPST, SPDT, DPST and DPDT types. Some of the relays are normally open, no, type and the other are normally closed, NC, types. SPST, SPDT, DPST, DPDT types of switch. SPST single pole single throw. These have two terminals which can be connected or disconnected. Including two for the coil, such a relay has four terminals in total. It is ambiguous whether the pole is normally open or normally closed. The terminology SPNO and SPNC is sometimes used to resolve the ambiguity. A single pole single throw, SPST, Switch is a switch that only has a single input and can connect only to one output. This means it only has one input terminal and only one output terminal. A single pole single throw switch serves in circuits as on off switches. When the switch is closed, the circuit is on. Two SPDT single pole double throw, SPDT, a switch is a switch that only has a single input and can connect to and switch between two outputs. This means it has one input terminal and two output terminals. A single pole double throw switch can serve a variety of functions in a circuit. The SPDT relay, 30A, is a high quality single pole double throw relay, SPDT. The relay consists of a coil, one common terminal, one normally closed terminal, and one normally open terminal. When the coil of the relay is at rest, not energized, the common terminal and the normally closed terminal have continuity 3. DPST double pole single throw, DPST, a switch is a switch that has two inputs and two outputs, each input has one corresponding output. Each of the terminals of a double pole single switch can either be in the on position, closed, or in the off position, open. DPDT stands for double pole double throw relay which is an electromagnetic device used to separate two circuits electrically and connect them magnetically. They are often used to interface an electronic circuit, which works at a low voltage to an electrical circuit which works at a high voltage. The poles may be form A or form B, or one of each. DPDT double pole double throw. These have two rows of changeover terminals. Equivalent to two SPDT switches or relays actuated by a single coil. Such a relay has eight terminals, including the coil. For DPDT double pole double throw, DPDT, 
relay contains two coil terminals, two separate common terminals C1, C2, and two normally open, and slash O1, and slash O2, two normally close, and slash C1, and slash C2, terminals, this relay makes two different connection and control with one control signal to the coil. Relay which is an electromagnetic device used to separate two circuits electrically and connect them magnetically. They are often used to interface an electronic circuit, which works at a low voltage to an electrical circuit which works at a high voltage. Automation System Protection Purpose Telephone Exchanges Digital Computers Relay Application Yo, you are T, you are N, T, O, interview me. What questions would you like to ask me?